Good morning, everybody. So, I am hiking the Mount Kinsman Trail today. I just left my car a few minutes ago. It's about 7.40 in the morning. Um, got about a four and a half mile hike up to the shelter, uh, Kinsman Pond Shelter, where I will rest my head for the night. And then, uh, after I get camp set up around lunchtime, I am planning to hike at least the Kinsman's, maybe Cannon if my uh, legs are feeling it, but at least North and South Kinsman today. And uh, just hike right out tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the trail for a little bit and uh, hope you enjoy the foliage as much as me. There is a little bit of a bear alert in this area, so I do have my bear bell going. I was supposed to have a hiking buddy today, but uh, it seems they didn't show up. So, going at solo, and uh, hopefully make enough noise on the way. And I'm going to stop talking because immediately I'm going to start climbing uphill, apparently. <laughs> Such as the whites. Oh, those yellows. guys I'll uh, come back with some more clips of the trail as it gets more interested in the meantime I'm just gonna keep a good lookout for any animals because I do not want to come across a bear <laughs> it was not on my to-do list this weekend uh, check in with you guys in a bit Every little waterbed on the way here, about almost two miles in, were dry but now standing here. I can just like lightly hear water running off in the distance. Which is kind of a great sound because it is so dry out here. I don't think I've ever seen the trail this dry, but I'm going that way. Slowly up. Came from down there. <laughs> it is a beautiful day. I want to say it's probably 55. Um, it's about 50 when I started, and within 10 minutes, I had to switch to a tank top because it was just too hot to be in long sleeves. Once you start moving, forget it. But I'll bring you guys more later. All right, starting to get into more of the boulders and uphills and I just actually crossed a little bit of a stream bed that 
look like on a good flow has a nice waterfall to it, but bone dry. Up, up we go. Oh. I only slept about four hours last night, so um, pretty tired this morning. So I'm kind of slow moving, <laughs> very slow moving. Um, and passed by quite a few hikers, but that's okay. It's not a race, it's just a good stroll. A nice little stroll in the woods, and my destination will be worth the views. As I said earlier, the color on the way up here was phenomenal. Um, I was so happy when day broke because I could actually see the foliage, uh, especially driving through Franconia Notch. Um, I mean, you can see a little bit of color in here, but it's mostly yellows, and they're pretty much already on their way out. But uh, up top, we'll have some spectacular views of uh, the foliage down the valleys and along the edges of the mountains. And it's just going to get brighter and more beautiful and more colorful as I go. Uh, all right, guys. And pay attention to where I'm walking. <laughs> oh, I'll be back with more soon. All right, so I am just took a um, right hand turn at a trail junction, taking a 0.2 mile spur trail to Bald Peak real quick. And then I will double back. And from that junction, it's only 1.6 to Kinsman Ridge. And just a little bit beyond that is the shelter. So I'm um, making my way. This is actually an adorable little spur trail. Uh, some blow downs, dead stuff in here. Definitely some widow makers, but that sun is hitting me and it's hot already hot from climbing but whatever this is the joy of hiking but this is a cute little spur trail and it's nice and flat which is kind of a relief um <laughs> just as i said it was nice and flat <laughs> oh look a hill <laughs> I ask myself every time, why on earth do I do this? But then you get to a viewpoint where you spot a gray jay or a grouse or a frog, a snake, anything on trail. Um, even just a tree that looks beautiful. And it's like, oh, this is why I do this because even if it's yucky or you get to a viewless summit there's always always a view somewhere um i mean look at look at all that moss moss and green and granite slabs hence the granite state <laughs> it's really quiet over here i'm thinking that other people just bypass this um, I just saw a mother and daughter team that are going to stay at the shelter tonight as well. Um, I actually passed them on the trail and wasn't too far ahead of them, but sat and debated about whether or not to come here. They were saying they're going to do it in the morning. I imagine a lot of people are, but I've already actually walked through like two spider webs, so I'm guessing nobody else has been out here today. But, uh, yeah, I'll share the views. When I get there. Hey guys, so I made it over to Bald Peak. I know the sun's in your eyes, but I am heading up there after to the Kinsman Ridge. But I did do a short spur, like I said, over for a view. Um, the foliage is amazing. Unfortunately, my phone does not do it justice, but you can just see the difference in colors. Um, 
down the valley, just endless pop. <laughs> Enjoy. the goods. <laughs> and now that I'm starting to go up, there's all these stairs, not awesome slab, a boulder. I'm gonna need my poles just for some extra support and balance. So this is it. You guys got pictures until a little bit later. <laughs> Happy trails. Hey guys. So, <laughs> longest 1.6 miles ever. Um, still not done. I'm going to give you a glimpse of what it's been pretty much the entire way with a couple little flats. Um, I've just been going short little bursts and then stop for a minute, let my legs have a moment and go. Um, not sit down, not take the bag off or anything, just powering through it. Um, it is hot for the end of September. Um, <laughs> I'm wishing I wore shorts, but no, I wore pants today like a bonehead. But I'm going to give you a look at, uh, I just came, the trail behind me, and then what's ahead of me, which is pretty much what I've been going up this entire time. Here we go. So, I came from down there. That was one of the smoother spots. But, I am now going up that mess. Um, it's pretty much from Boulder Fields. Some spots have been a little scrambly. Not too awful. It's like going upstairs, but it's just finding where to step and how and whatnot. And I did find a couple of the rocks that move because I'm good at that. I think once I get up over that hump, I think it's pretty much going to start flatting out for me. And I'll get to the trail junction and be almost at camp. Um, but that's my check-in for now. I made it to North Kim's Island for number 18. Part of the uh, Appalachian Trail. Actually, this would be southbound because of the direction I'm going. Heading over to Kinsman South. I just did North Kinsman. Um, and it's like a ridge walk. A little bit of up and down, but I get a nice view through the trees. It's just smooth, steady sailing. It's beautiful. I'm quite thrilled about being on the AT right now. See, white blaze. It's only a couple miles of something I plan to eventually hike, uh, be it section or through hiking. Um, it's just it's fantastic. 
It's a perfect, perfect day to be out here. Um, the sky's a bit hazy. Um, people seem to think it might still be the smoke from out west. I'm not sure, though. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little ridge walk. Um, mostly granite, some ups, downs in between, and I'm going up there. Uh, so yeah, see you at the top. Alright, guys. This is Kinsman South. My last one for the day. I've got to double back to camp and call it a night. Um, very hazy today. Not sure if that's still from the smoke, but uh, North and South Kinsmen are down for 18 and 19 out of 48. Uh, I wish that it was a better picture for you guys so that you could actually see the foliage, but it's absolutely just beautiful. Thanks for watching my journey.